Rajon Rondo and Draymond Green got into yet another hold me back moment. Hold me back. Later on, uh, at some point, Rondo appears to trip Draymond. He gets a T for that. Both of these guys like shared their it. different oh, perspectives man. after the game on what happened. <laughs> That's his game. You know, I don't try to bait him in anything. It's just, uh, you know, he talks a lot of sh and it's just part of it, you know. No, I don't have to try to bait Rondo. I get nothing out of trying to bait Rondo in anything. That does nothing for me. Y'all hate the storyline of somebody trying to bait me, huh? Y'all, I just got to be involved. Like, oh, Draymond's doing this. At some point, somebody got to tell the truth. And I know that's not quite the DNA these days of people telling the truth. But at some point, y'all got to tell the truth. Draymond ain't trying to bait nobody. I'm chilling, playing basketball. Now, I'm, I, I tend to stop believing people once they go third person. That's just a rule that I've always had. Neither guy is saying that they're trying to bait the other. So you probably shouldn't ask Paul. Uh, who, who, who's doing what? Got the best they, they're both trying to bait each other. <laughs> Listen, you got, it's like the clash of the Titans. You got two alpha males trying to find an advantage for their team. Draymond is known as the bully. He has a strong personality. Rondo has a strong personality. Yeah. So it's obvious that these two are going to clash. When, when you have this type of guy like Draymond, who, whose bullying personality can be intimidating for the other team, and then you have a guy like Rondo standing up to him, that can give confidence to your ball club. You know, I remember in, in 2010, we played against Cleveland, number one seed, they had Sha Shaq. He's fouling hard, he's intimidating us. The game Perkins stood up to him. The game's Perkins started throwing elbows back to him. Ooh. Stood up to Shaq like, this not about to go down out here, big fella. I think that gave our team confidence. And we, we went out there with a different swagger. Because, you know, that's Shaq. You know, nobody stands up to Shaq. And when right. Perkins did that, I, I believe it turned our series around and gave us the confidence we can go out and beat them. Perkins, my they man, were, they were the best. Team. They was the but best. That was a different Shaq <laughs> in Cleveland <laughs> and in Boston. But still, still <laughs> <laughs> definitely. I, I, listen, I love the competitive spirit and the fire that these two guys play with. And if I'm Rondo, I'm going to keep pressing that button. I'm going to keep pressing on Draymond because. We've seen Draymond, maybe, and people say this, cost them a championship with his emotional flare-ups, if you will. So if I'm, if I'm Rondo, man, listen, <laughs> I'm going I'm to keep up with my antics. I'm trying to find in, any little advantage that we can get because we need it. We're playing against a better team than, than, than ours. So we need any advantage that we can get. So I'm going to keep pressing if I'm Rondo. You hear I'm these Rondo. superstars, these finals MVPs, <laughs> they don't understand what it's like to be a role player, OK? These guys. This is the reason why they're in the league. Who's the emotional leader of the Golden State Warriors? Draymond. Who's the emotional leader of the Pelicans? I mean, it's obviously Rondo. And they play different positions. That's what makes this so fascinating. One's a point guard, one's basically playing center. It just doesn't look so odd because Draymond's only 6'7". This is why both of these guys are in the league, because they get under people's skin, they're really productive, and also they're great passers. So teammates love playing with guys that's going to get up in somebody's face and get them to rock. That's why when they're doing that, teammates come and have their back. I just love that they found each other in this series. <laughs> it's giving us a lot of entertainment.